Some of you might say, why can't you just be happy? Stacking silver and gold today. Why can't you just tell us, keep stacking, that the prices will go up a lot and that everything will be okay? Sorry friends, I believe that silver stackers in 2020 needs to be extremely, extremely careful. This is going to be a crazy year. Before starting this off, I want to say welcome to any new viewer. European Stacking is a channel that talks about global economy, precious metals, and especially European coins and bars. Today I'm going to discuss a few things that control the silver price today and what the price prediction in 2020 looked like. I spoke about this already in another video, but as some of you might already know the spot price of silver today is mainly decided by the silver paper market. What do I mean with the paper market? Well, since some people think it's not practical to buy and collect real physical silver, companies started to offer stock market products for silver. They are so-called ETFs or exchange traded funds and it's a paper asset that can be traded just like any other stocks. Many of them claim to have an underlying asset, silver in them, but this means that instead of buying real silver yourself, hmm, you can buy a certificate that someone else has that promise you that they would invest this money in real silver. Well, the reality is a little bit more complicated because just like money can be printed, also silver ETF can be. So far away from all these companies have guaranteed what will happen if the silver price go up or down too drastically. In fact, when you compare the performance of real silver and silver ETFs, Many times they don't even follow the spot price of silver. Now, together with the fees that you usually pay for those products, you could potentially even lose money instead of making money investing in silver. However, this is not the only problem. The real issue here is that real silver only accounts for a small part of the total silver price calculation. I heard ratios from anywhere between 150 to 250 times. This means that for every piece of real silver on the market, there's a silver ETF asset value of 150 to 250 times that amount. So what does this mean for stackers? Well, it means that the price is detached from real silver. It's controlled by stock market products and well, since you don't own the silver yourself, it's also very easy for other people or institution to manipulate the market by simply buying a lot of silver, paper silver, to drive the asset up or down. So why should I be careful today? Well, because the forces behind the silver price is very powerful. The silver price and very similar to the dollar is not attached to a real value. Well, some of it is, but most of it, it's not. I could even compare it to the dollar or any other currency. Think about it. You know, if you create paper silver without backing it up with real silver, isn't it the same as backing up dollars with nothing? So is the price inflated as a result today or the opposite? Well, nobody knows and this is exactly what worries me. I do believe that real silver holds 
a real value. This is why I'm stacking silver today. However, if the spot price drops, I won't be able to sell my silver for a fair price, no matter how much the real value it has. This is especially true if someone has manipulated the price. Tell me seriously, do you understand the price of silver today? Back in April, the silver, the price of silver doubled. Well, that made sense because it was start of the big pandemic and central banks were inflating the economy with cash to save it. I understand why silver went up. Hey, but then it went down and the situation was not improved. In fact, it was even worse than before. But still the silver price dropped. And well, the same was true for gold, which historically has been the safest heaven metal you could ever buy. Think about that. In the last economic crisis that we had, silver price was very low because being an industrial metal, the demand held it back and the price was really low. Yet in this pandemic where, you know, the production stopped completely and when we expecting an even slower recovery, prices of silver went to the double. From this video, I don't say don't invest in precious metal. Please do. I think it's the smartest you can do right now. Why? Well, exactly for this reason. Nobody have an idea what's going on, why prices do what they do, why the stock market is an all time high right now, despite the biggest recession in modern times. So what you really want during this time is stability. And what is more stable than this beautiful, shiny metal that been working as real money for the last, I don't know, 3000 years. What I want to say with this video, it was quite long. It's not very well organized, but I really need to talk about this and please stay with me because this is important. Please accept that we stackers have no idea what's going on right now. And it does not rhyme with history. It does not follow the same pattern as other pandemics. It's generally a strange time. So stacking silver today is a great idea, but it's also great to understand that silver price today is a mess and you need to be careful. How you buy and when you buy and what you buy. All of these things are important and you need to be careful. Please everyone, stay safe out there. And please also tell me, what do you think is gonna happen to the silver price? Please let me know in the comments below if you have a different opinion than me. Also, I wanted to take a quick moment <clears throat> to just go through something that I have here on the table. So just wanted to tell you guys a quick story. Um, actually two days ago, I was bidding on the eBay for a coin lot of uh, Swiss money, so Swiss silver coins. So these are the ones that I'm having here. And actually, I was not meant to win this lot. Actually, I was just, you know, putting a really low bid. And I said, you know what, if I win for this bid, you know, it's never going to happen. But, you know, if I do, I can as well, you know, go ahead with it. And I didn't think more about that. And, <clears throat> you know, guess what? Two days later, I got an SMS that, you know, I won this coin lot. And this is actually 1.1 kilo of silver coins from Switzerland. And frankly enough, <clears throat> they are absolutely beautiful. But right now, I'm not sure if I can even afford, um, you know, to keep all those coins because this was definitely not planned. So anyway, I wanted to take just a quick moment in this video 
to, you know, pretty quickly just show you guys the coins. I know you're following my channel also for, you know, watching um, cool coins. So I want to take this opportunity to just, you know, show you guys some of these coins that I have right here, some of these that I got. Um, you know, as always, I'm open to coin trades and, and, you know, cool stuff. We're also doing some giveaways on this channel. So if you're not subscribed yet, you know, uh, feel free to subscribe and I'll send you a notification when we're doing some giveaways. Um, so here in front of me right now, you have a two Swiss franc. This one here to the, well, here in front. Really, really cool. And here is the reverse, the Helvetia. This is the five franc, two coins. Also really, really beautiful. And I actually like particularly these ones had quite a lot of tarnish on them as well. Um, so I think they look super, super cool. Um, you know, then you have smaller versions like um, here I have some uh, some, you know, one Swiss franc, so they look, you know, pretty similar. And then you even have, you know, even tinier versions. This is like actually, you know, half, half franc you can see here as well. These coins are around like 70, 100 years old. Super, super cool coins. And well, you know, I have one kilo <laughs> of these bad boys. So, you know, if you're interested and looking them closer, you know, feel free to subscribe. I am also on Instagram, so you can, you know, contact me there directly. Um, and guys, you know, thank you so much for watching. It was awesome to have you back. And I haven't posted a lot of videos lately, so, you know, really happy to be back. Um, I wish everyone a great day and see you soon. Cheers.